a Sufi meditation, always choose to be happy. One of the Naqshbandi Sufi Sheikh of 20th century, Sufi Shakuntala Devi, was unique in her ways and means. Anytime anybody, any aspirant or anyone bow to her or pay respect to her, she will not use the conventional words, conventional message. She always say, always be happy. When I looked into this, this is a Sufi language. The words of the Master always choose to be happy. Life is a blend of essential and non essential. As you traverse through the life's roads, certain choices are presented. Each moment, life presents different situations, circumstances, and conditions. Certain are acceptable to human understanding, while others are not. There is always a choice. There is always a choice to choose this or that. And in that case, everyone chooses according to the mind setup. Each one awaits of this choice on the basis of the experience understanding of the cosmic law in a harmony and oneness. To be happy is a conscious choice. To be happy is a conscious choice. It is a choice that emerges out of you in a harmony and understanding. Such innerness is the outcome of meditation or mara. Only a person who, a sonic, or aspirant, who has delved into the realm of mara or, or meditation or dhyan can really take such a decision. Under all circumstances, your energy field allows you to choose the door. Something that you have known. A simple thing you have been offered a dish that you know not. Among the other dishes, you will choose the dish that you have known. Very rarely a person will choose a dish that is looking unknown and is not familiar. However, you can try that dish if someone convinces you. So you are depending on the experience of someone who has tasted that particular dish. On your own, you are not ready to experiment with the unknown and unknowable. And remember God or Allah always comes in new ways and means. Repetition is not the way of the existence. This is why we call God the Creator. God is not the Henry Ford who is creating cars on the assembly line. Each car looks identical. Then in order to identify your car with the other, there is a color scheme, there is the chassis and engine number and then the number plate that is given to you by the local transport authority. Something like this does not happen in the realm of God's creativity. 
He creates every circumstance, every situation and every person in a unique way. It is custom made. Under all circumstances, your energy field allows you to choose the unknown. Thus you remain unhappy. You never choose the unknown alone, the unknowable, something that you have not known, something that you have not experienced before. You will not choose. Mind always chooses the known. With your choice of the known, unhappiness emerges. It is not that you do not want happiness, but you cannot act otherwise. Everyone aspires for happiness, but happiness comes when you choose the unknown and unknown. And this is why in spirituality is an adventure. Maratma is an adventure with the unknown and unknowable realm. It is not that you do not want happiness, but you cannot act otherwise. And slowly and slowly, unhappiness becomes your musculature, your way of life. And your entire life centers on this unhappiness, misery. To be happy is your choice and your right as well. To be happy is a conscious choice only you can make. But in all circumstances and situations you choose not to be happy. Remember a happy heart is the door to the beyond or door to the inner or door to the being. You tend to be happy or unhappy because of the other or the circumstances. Your entire life remains an outward expression. When I listen to these words and introspected first, then we looked at the energy field that the Master is creating. This is in Sufi terminology is called Tanika, the way. The way to attain to innerness, the way to attain to the realm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have not experienced your innerness and bliss. Therefore, no one chooses to be happy for no reason. A happy heart is filled with gratitude towards the whole, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or God. To be happy is the greatest blessing. It unfolds a totally new, unknown and unknowable realm. It unfolds the realm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The tremendous grace. One Sufi master, Nakshbandi Shakutla Devi, always used to bless anyone who is being respected by saying, Be always happy. If you really decipher these simple words, these will manifest a totally new realm. This is the methodology of the Sufis. They give you something to introspect, to meditate over, to go deeper into it like a diamond. And then it will start unfolding the mysteries to you. As an aspirant, you have to make conscious choice to be happy. In the beginning, it will be difficult. Introspecting on the words of the Master brings insight. And thus, introspection takes you to the deeper realm. For instance, when the Master said to rise above narrowness is spirituality, 
introspect what he meant by nouns. It is a very comprehensive word. It refers to narrowness of all kinds. Narrowness on the basis of caste, creed, religion, nation, whatever you can imagine. From your level of awareness, you cannot understand this. Meditation on the master's energy field and introspection on the words will bring new insights. Remember when a master or a sheikh says something, the seekers need to go deeper into these words. The seekers need to introspect. The master can never be wrong or unconscious. The reason that he is a master or a sheikh means he is totally awakened to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The very fact that he or she is a master implies now something has changed within. A master may look like you, he may walk like you, but in reality he differs in his understanding of the cosmic phenomena and awareness. None of his actions are guided by unconsciousness. Even when he moves his hands, he is totally aware of this. The presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surrounds him. He has attained to Bakawi. Let this be your meditation. Let this be your marama. Each moment, a new meaning will unfold in life. Serenity, blessedness, surur will engulf you. Only then it can be said that you are living in the image of the shape or the master. This is the Savuri Shaykh. In the beginning you begin with remembering the countenance, the face of the Shaykh. Then slowly and slowly you remember the words spoken. Slowly and slowly you begin to remember the words spoken by the Master and then introspection begins. It leads you to the state of Marabha. The moment the Marabha begins, you are within the energy field of the virtue of the Shri. Begun. A communion has begun between you and the sheep. You are drowning into that energy field. Suru or bliss is the outcome of this communion. Therefore, always choose to be happy. Happiness is your choice. Make it your choice every moment. The word happiness and yes to the unknown and unknown will be on your lips. It may sound weird but this is how it is. Those who have attained they have learned the art of saying yes to the unknown and unknowable and they have consciousness made the choice to be happy in all circumstances and situations. To be happy in all circumstances and situations is blessing. To 
be happy under all circumstances and situations is indeed blessing. Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah, Allah Akbar, Alhamdulillah.